There's not much that's more important about a trailer than the wheels going round and round the way they should. Monitoring trailer bearings is crucial to maintaining a safe functioning trailer. Noisy wheel bearings indicate that it's time to change, and if left alone, they could seize and cause serious damage. What you'll need to replace them is your basic mechanical tools, some kerosene or solvent for washing parts and a container to do it in, a hammer, a punch, a new cotter pin, a new seal and cups, and of course, your new bearings, some support stands, and a nice flat surface to work on. Remove the dust cap, the cotter pin, adjusting nut, and washers. Now, pull the hub towards you, taking care not to let the outer bearing fall out. The inner bearing and seal will also come with the hub. Remove the outer bearing by simply lifting it from the hub. Wipe off all the old lubricant from the hub assembly and spindle, then clean them with kerosene or solvent. Then remove the inner bearing and seal using a hammer and punch. Have a close look at the spindle, checking for scoring, bent thread or other damage. A light coating of grease on the spindle shaft will make installation easier and also help with cooling. Inspect the hub bore and cup backing shoulder and remove nicks and burrs that prevent the cup from seating properly using a file or fine sandpaper. Pack bearings with grease as soon as you remove them from their packaging. To hand pack bearings, force grease under the cage between the rollers, from the large end of the rollers until it shows at the small end. Fill the hub with grease to the inside diameter of the outer races. Install the inner bearing to the hub then the seal. Make sure the seal lips are pointed in the right direction. Be careful not to damage the seal. Insert the grease packed outer bearing, washer and adjusting nut. Slide the hub assembly back over the spindle, being careful not to damage the seal against the end of the spindle. Apply preload to the bearing before final adjustment by tightening up the adjusting nut and backing off a couple of times to the bearing. Use a 12 inch wrench to tighten the adjusting nut. When the rotor binds slightly, all parts are properly seated. Back off the nut a quarter of a turn, then lock the nut with a new cotter pin. Work around the outer edge of the cup in a crisscross motion with the punch and hammer to drive new cups into the hub. Keep going until it's solidly seated against the hub shoulder. Then you just put the wheel back on and give the trailer a test tow. And that's all you need to keep your trailer right behind you, where it belongs. And remember, I'm here to help.